All right, welcome to the comic book shop of doom here on awesomestreaming.com. We got a movie review today. We got Top Gun Part 2, Top Gun Maverick. I saw it yesterday at the $5.15 movie. So, okay, so there's a um, Marcus Cinemas. It's a, it's a chain. It's out of Wisconsin. Orland Park, Illinois. They have um, like a 20 seat or a 20 uh, theater uh, show there, okay? Every Tuesday, it's $5.00. Why you ask is it 515? Because there's 15 cents tax goes to the local town. So it's 515 every Tuesday, all day long. 3D and other movies like that are 615, but there hasn't been really 3D movies in a while. So anyway, I went, it was about a hundred people in the movie theater, so it was packed. I went to a 10 o'clock show. And what did I think of it? Okay, without spoilers, I'm going to give you what I thought of it right off the bat, and then I'll have spoilers. I'll tell you when to click out of this video. And I'm going to do an analysis of this movie, too. There's something i got to tell you, uh, so that'll be within the spoilers, okay? So what did I think of it? It's okay. I mean, it's not the greatest movie, and it's not the worst movie. It's worth seeing it one time. But I don't think it holds up after repeated views. Uh, to me, the two best characters, I mean, Tom Cruise is okay. He does a lot of smiling in this. The two best actors in this are, uh, Glenn Powell, who plays Hangman, and then John Hamm, who plays Cyclone. Uh, he's the commanding officer in this. So th those are the best two, but I, I recommend seeing this one time, and then after that, forget it. I don't think this movie is going to hold up at repeat, repeated views. Okay, so here I'm going to give you spoilers. So spoilers are going to happen right now. So if you don't want to hear the spoilers, get out of this video. Okay, so Maverick is testing experimental aircrafts out of the California desert. And here's number one. They don't have the Air Force doing that stuff anymore, or the Navy. That's all private uh, industry does that stuff. So they're, they're lying about that. So they changed some stuff. And then he gets recruited to go to Top Gun again to, to train some guys because Iceman has requested him. So Iceman is now an, an admiral in the Navy, and they got a mission. They won't name the country because they don't want to get blocked there. So they're hinting at it's either North Korea, Russia, or China. If there's snow on the ground. They're doing uranium enrichment. It could be Iran, too. Because they, they come off a ship, and they go right up the coast, and then they go, and there's there's mountains with uh, snow and all that. So that's possible. It could be Iran. It could be Afghanistan. But I thought it'd be Afghanistan, because they haven't done that yet. So anyway, they got to fly into this valley, blow up the en their enrichment plant, which is underground, and then get out of there without getting uh, a barrage of uh, missile embankments taking out the planes. Okay, here's where this doesn't hold up with, with normal uh, technology. So we go to the computer. We got the rods of God. That's a picture of what I'm talking about. They could have used this instead of sending in fighters. Put in Google rod of God weapon, okay? Here's the definition of this. The rods of God idea was a bundle of telephone pole size, 20 feet long, one foot in diameter tungsten rods dropped from orbit, reaching a speed of up to 10 times the speed of sound. The rod would penetrate hundreds of feet in the earth, destroying any potential hardened bunker or secret underground sites. Okay, this is legit. These things exist. You don't need a squadron of jets to take out something now from space. You could do it with right here. Right here. It's like a cylinder, like a gun. It shoots those rods. They're like the size of a telephone pole. And what will happen is it'll give you the equivalent of a nuclear explosion without the radiation. So there's no nuclear isotopes or nothing involved. So this is how they could solve this without sending in guys to get killed. And I just think this movie, it's already passed passe. It's been sitting on the shelf for like three years. They've had this technology for a while. So... Like I said, see it one time or don't see it at all. It's not worth it. 
everybody have a good day.